enhanced monofocal eye-roll techniques eye hands. Is it a scam? Or it really provides you with improved intermediate vision acuity compared to basic monofocal eye wells? Eye hands doesn't improve intermediate vision of my patients. Generally, it is a specific characteristic of the intraocular lens, so it means that patient doesn't need glasses to improve far vision. Moving refractive target of basic monofocal significantly impacts far vision. And the wrong conclusion here. First, hi there. My name is Oleksii and you at Eyewell Advisor channel telling the truth about eyewells. Friends, I would like to record this short video. I hope it will be short because I recently read a number of comments in my channel and in social media about the so-called improved intermediate vision in terms of Alcon Clarion or in terms of Zeiss uh, model Lucia 621, etc. And I would like to investigate it further and honestly, and I'm as I'm telling the truth about eyewells, I would like to tell you the true story around the intermediate vision, around the defocus curves, how is it measured and what you should expect with basic monofocal and with eye hands. First of all, I kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel if you didn't subscribe yet and give me a thumbs up, a like, share and all these things because it helps me to promote my channel and really helps me and inspires me to work for you here on YouTube, on my website and in Reddit. So, thank you for that and Coming back to eye hands. So what is eye hands and what is, what is the difference between basic monofocal eye wells? So eye hands is enhanced monofocal lens which has a specific optical surface and it really gives improved intermediate vision based on what is important here, based on the highest level clinic of, uh, clinical evidence which are randomized controlled studies. As far as I know, up to date on May of 2025, no other competitive lenses which are claimed to be enhanced monofocal have that level of evidence. I'm not saying that lenses like Ray1 or Isa Pure or what else, uh, BNL Aspura doesn't work. They do their job, they definitely work better than basic monofocal, but now we are not comparing different enhanced monofocals. I just would like to highlight that if you have a claim, if you read a claim somewhere from your doctor or somewhere about the performance at intermediate distance of Clarion or Tice or whatever other basic monofocal lens comparing to eye hands, we have to understand why it might happen and how it really performs in real life. So first of all, I'm, I'm saying that eye hands really gives improved intermediate vision based on, I would say, six years already. Yeah. I have six years of experience with that lens on different markets and I know how it works in clinical, in clinical setup. Eye hands gives a better intermediate vision, better visual acuity at intermediate, improving daily life of the patients in, let's say, basic situations like uh, grocery shopping, uh, doing something at, at home, uh, working in the garden, etc. So it's way better than basic monofocal. And if we compare the eye hands performance to, uh, let's say, other lenses, sometimes Honestly, in my practice as well, I've heard that eye hands doesn't improve intermediate vision of my patients. And what could happen since his, in this case and why it is happening? And honestly, in my practice, we really investigated and we found out how does it work. So, first of all, I believe you know what is the focus curve. I have a previous video on my channel. Look at the description below. I will put a link if you want to understand. But generally, it is a specific characteristic of the intraocular lens, which gives you an understanding of visual acuity at different ranges, at different distances from your eye. And interestingly, that with eye hands, and I have mentioned it in my eye hands review. Again, I will put a link here and a on that corner if you want to, uh, to see it uh, later on. So eye hands gives a better intermediate range and what is more important, eye hands uh, have a flat defocus curve which means that it's first of all it's safer in terms of refractive target and it gives more safety for the surgeon. Well, I believe it's a little bit complicated, so that's why if you would like to know more, please visit my website iolladvarsda.com and um, this deeper understanding, deeper knowledge you can find out on my materials on the website. So I'll try to explain it very quickly. What does it mean? So any IOL should be performing very well at far distance. I'm talking about monofocal. And if refractive target, so basic refraction of an eye after the implantation is so-called plano. So it means that patient doesn't need glasses to improve far vision. So we've hit a refractive target with monofocal IOL. It has a peak at refractive target at plano. It means that infinity distance is very good for you. And if you miss that refractive target, if you move an IOL back and forth from this plano, 
it means that visual acuity at far distance will be declining and visual acuity at intermediate, for example, if it moves closer to your eyes, the refractive target with monofocal will be improving a little bit. It's a basic principle of mono vision for you with intraocular lenses. Well, it's also explained in my previous videos uh, on the channel about mono vision and mix and match with the lenses. But what I would like to tell you here, if you move basic monofocal refractive target not closer to your eye, but further from your eye, you will not gain anything in, in terms of near intermediate visual acuity, but you will lose far vision acuity with basic monofocal IOL. And what we found out in a clinical setup, because eye hands has a flat defocus curve, it gives uh, to the surgeon some kind of safety in terms of hitting refractive target. It means if we compare basic monofocal with that shape of defocus curve and eye hands with flatter defocus curve, moving refractive target of basic monofocal significantly impacts far vision and moving refractive target with eye hands back and forth not as important in terms of far visual acuity. And what happens here? If you move eye hands refractive target closer to patient to closer to patient's eye, you a little bit lose far visual acuity, but you gain significantly intermediate and near visual acuity. And it happens sometimes with surgeons who say, my patients can, let's say, a little bit read with eye hands. And yeah, it could happen, but patients lose far vision acuity. Not lose completely, but it's declining compared, compared to plano setup. And what is interesting, coming back to the first question, when some, somebody can tell you that eye hands is a scam, it doesn't work, and my other monofocal lenses perform the same way. It is true in one case. If you put refractive target of eye hands a little bit forward, so it means you move it further from your eye, it means that advantage at intermediate vision will be moving further from your eye and in this case eye hands will perform in terms of visual acuity at intermediate range exactly as basic monofocal eye oil but is, is, is still keeping the high level of far vision because of that defocus curve so it means if you put a small corrective glasses in this case to move back the refractive target of eye hands from the infinity to normal to plano it means that you will gain back that intermediate range. In other cases, it's well, quite rarely I got one patient like this in my uh, private consultation before maybe half a year ago. A lady with central optical zone opacification of the capsule, which a little bit closed the um, central optical part of eye hands, and she lost intermediate visual acuity, which has been restored when the optical pathway, the center, has been cleaned. But it's a different story. And what is important here, what is a trap for ophthalmologists here? The problem is that uh, this residual refraction after the surgery has to be measured by special uh, equipment, so-called autorefractor. The device gives you, let's say, a residual refraction of your eye, and it works extremely well with non-operated eyes and with eyes with basic monofocal eye wells. However, with an improved or enhanced monofocal eye wells, and especially with presbyopia correcting eye wells, autorefractors in vast majority of cases are not accurate. It means students put a patient in front of outer refractor, checks the refraction with an eye hands, and gets false results that it hits he he or she hits the plano. And in this case, I guess you already understood. If not, let me, let me break it down shortly. So in this case, we get actual residual refraction of let's say plus half a diopter, but. On outer refractor, it shows you minus quarter diopter or exactly plano. And surgeon tests uh, visual acuity at intermediate range, and he or she gets a result that at intermediate range, visual acuity is similar to basic monofocal. And we have an information from outer refractor that we hit a plano. And the wrong conclusion here first, I have a plano from outer refractor, then intermediate visual acuity, similar to what I have with basic monofocal, which I tested with my outer refractor, it shows me plano, which is correct for basic monofocal. I have a plano for eye hands, which is incorrect, because outer refractor gives a wrong results in this case. I measure intermediate visual acuity with both lenses. It's similar, so it means that eye hands doesn't work. But if you, uh, we work with a surgeon closely, and we measure eye hands performance, and first of all, we measure eye hands uh, residual refraction in a proper way, it, it means manually by using maximum plus method it's a little bit more time consuming and it's manual using the for optor and lenses not outer fractures and we show to the surgeons that well have a look you have a actually plus half a diopter of refraction please correct it with glasses and when we correct the residual refraction by glasses everything puts in the right place 
intermediate visual acuity with basic monofocal stays as is because there is nothing to add and eye hands gains intermediate visual acuity and then if we correct calculation specific of that particular eye well for the surgeon surgeon starts getting better intermediate visual results improved intermediate vision as it promised and as it confirms in randomized clinical studies for eye hands well i hope it is clear now if you have any other questions please Ask me in the comments below, follow me on Reddit, and for sure visit iwilladvisor.com website where you can find a lot of useful information. So thank you for watching, thank you for sharing this video, and I will be happy to talk to you on the comments below. Take care.